Well, there is always a special buzz on the opening day of any cup competition. The first and only time when all teams, regardless of stature, history, reputation, start from the same position. Everybody can have the same hopes, everybody the same dreams. This could be... He's had a hit! That massive goal! And what a great way to start the game to spark the game, I mean the captain has basically triggered a contest that should be even livelier than we anticipated, get your seatbelts on, this could be rather exciting. As simple as you like, the outcome utterly inevitable. Well the finish looked a guarantee once he was found all alone, and it's criminal defending. Algeria take the early advantage. No surprise at all that this is the guy who's had such a positive impact. Well, having that sort of player in your side is reassuring because the rest of the team knows he can make his influence count at any stage. It's simply part of his package. When he really wants to, this fellow scores. And Boris! And with the goal at his mercy, a dreadful miss. I think a little eager has just got the better of him. He may have been thinking about back page headlines there. Shifted upfield. He's tried one! Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. Better contact. Move forward and quickly so. The pressing's intense and it's paid off. And it's Slimani. And there's his chance to lead the counter. And the Flores! Oh, that was nice, but not quite the end product required. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. Algeria can certainly afford to see this half out now and reset during the break. It's loose, could fall kindly. He's got away with one there. Strong running down that left flank. Oh, that's a key interception. And here's Slimani. Mares. Whistle for half time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments and ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Some first half thoughts? Well, I think the scoreline offers a fair reflection of the level of endeavour from both teams. I think they lead because they did most of the probing. A little more penetration, I think, should help them get the job done. Algeria, the happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up. And we are already promptly back on the way. Algeria carrying a one-goal... He's having a shot! He scores! And there's the goal they've been looking for. Simplicity itself. Yeah, and I think we may have had too many defenders ball-watching then because they just lost sight of the real danger. Algeria take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Chance to finish! That is 
glorious, as if he picked it up and put it there himself. Well, the ball flight may be unpredictable, but the predictable part was the technique. It screamed goal all the way. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Well, they're very much the better team. Slip Well, we've seen the hunger to win it back and the focus to make it count. A very tasty combination. Algeria tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition look completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. to go back oh and he's asking too much with that oh it's a nice idea but the execution was lacking Mares and here's Slimani Gonna let it past. Added time going up here, it's three minutes. And that 